Shalom, shalom to all. We're here again with another video with the whole Anaya and a whole Hanaya with our pre-K students this morning. We have a little video for you all. We hope you enjoy what they do for you. Have an excellent yom. Do not forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Shalom, shalom. Like the light, baby. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Today we're going to review our shapes. The students have been learning their shapes all year. So we're going to do a little learning activity to help review. Okay, y'all ready to go in our little shape bucket? Yes, ma'am. All right, make sure you're loud and clear. What shape is this? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to pick someone and I want you to come up and find the same shape that matches, okay? I'm going to pick someone. And honey, I was going to tell me when to stop. Y'all ready? Yeah. Tiffara, come on up. Can you find the same shape that matches this oval? And then hold it up for our class and the camera. Tell them what shape you have. Oval. Uh, All right, give Tiffara a big hand. All right, our next shape is. Triangle. Triangle. Okay, I'm going to pick someone. Hey, Mahania. Come on, Zafonia. Can you come find the triangle for us? Yes. You see one that looks like a triangle. All right, turn around. And let's count the sides on our triangle. Everybody. One, two, three. Three, and that's a triangle. Alright, have a seat. Give us on your hand. A few more. What shape is this? A circle. A what? A circle. A circle. Let's see who can. It's a ball. Find our matching circle. Come on, Yahuda. Which shape up here matches this one? This one. Alright. How many, how many sides does a circle have? None. None. Turn around and show the camera. Tell them how many sides a circle has? None. Very tough. Give Yahuda a hand. We'll do one more. Let's see what I got in here. What about this? What shape is this? Triangle. Oh, we just did a triangle. How many sides? Rectangle. Do you have? This is a rectangle. Let me see. Can you help me pick someone, Emma, honey? Yes, ma'am. I sure can. Stop. All right, come on, Zafonia. Yes, me. Can you find us something, one of the shapes up here that matches this one? All right, turn around and count the sides for us, everyone. One. One. Turn around. Two, three, four. four. Now let's count the sides on this one. One, one two, three, four. four. And this is a rectangle. Very tough. Do it rectangle. Do it in the rectangle. Very tough. All right, the last thing we're going to do is go over each shape. This is a square. Where? This is a triangle. Is this a triangle or a rectangle? A rectangle. What's this one? Triangle. Okay. What's this one? Oval. Oh. And the last one is a circle. Very tough. Now give us a big snap. Very tough. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. It's another day here at Teshua. Hebrew Academy and of course you know when you see me it's going to be the children doing something with scripture so we're learning Proverbs 31 they're going to go from verse 1 to verse 17 with no help and hopefully the next time we do our video we'll have the whole chapter completed so beginning with my Teshua babies let's hit it yes ma'am the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What was my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vow? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink.
drink wine or from prison strong drink. Least they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of your afflicted. Give you strong drink unto those that are ready to perish, and wine unto those that are of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb and the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above ruby? For whatever for her husband, she will do him tub and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like a merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maid. She sings the field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and she strengtheneth her arms. Shall 